you guys have requested it and I didn't want to disappoint. So today I have some budget friendly Halloween decor ideas to share with you and hopefully you'll want to try them, at least maybe one of them. First up, we're gonna DIY a wreath. Now, I love to start with a ready-made wreath. It just makes it so much easier. This wreath I picked up at Walmart for under $20. I also wanna thank Walmart for sponsoring today's video. You can pick up all of your Halloween decorations and DIY supplies at Walmart. So to DIY my wreath, I'm also going to need some black poster board, some fishing line, and some fairy lights. I wanted to create some little bats that I could add to my wreath. I found a template of a bat, and I'm gonna cut that out. Next, I'm gonna put the template on my black poster board and trace around the bat. I'm gonna make nine bats. Once I have them all traced, I'm gonna cut them out. Next, I'm gonna poke a hole through the top of all of my bats. Now to attach them to my wreath, I'm actually gonna use fishing line. Now you may wonder why I'm using fishing line. I love how bouncy it is and I think it makes a really cool effect when you add it to a wreath. So I'm going to cut off a piece of fishing line, tie it to the top of my bat. Going back to my wreath, it's super cute. It has black feathers all over it. I'm gonna flip it to the back side, and I'm gonna attach six of my bats to the bottom half of my wreath, just using some hot glue. And I'll put three more at the top. With the fairy lights I picked up, I'm going to add the box that has the batteries in it to the back of my wreath. I'm gonna put that on with some heavy duty duct tape. Next, I'm just going to simply wrap my fairy lights all the way around my wreath. One of the tips I have whenever you're putting on your fairy lights and wrapping it is just pull out your feathers so that it looks a little bit more realistic and your lights are kind of set into your wreath. Once you get all the way around your wreath, you can use some duct tape to hold your fairy lights in place. You can style with some really cute pumpkins. There are so many to choose from right now at Walmart. I love that they light up. They're perfect for sitting out for Halloween. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make this adorable pumpkin garland. I found these pumpkin pom-poms in the fall section at Walmart. They come in a bunch of colors. I went with the yellows and oranges. I also picked up some black pipe cleaners and that's what you're going to use first. So take your pipe cleaner and you're gonna fold it in half. Next, you're gonna make a one inch loop where your pipe cleaner is folded. Then you're going to twist the loop and hot glue it to the base of the stem. Then you're going to wrap around the excess pieces about two times. Then to curl them on the edges, I just grabbed a dowel rod and I'm gonna twist that on either side. And that's how you create a stem for your pumpkin that's gonna work for your garland. Repeat this step for all of your pom-poms. To attach them, you're going to need a long piece of twine. I'm also going to be using the fishing line that I was using earlier. So cut off a piece of fishing line. You're gonna loop it through that black stem loop that you created earlier, and then you're going to tie that tightly to your twine. Now you wanna make sure that your pom-poms are evenly spaced. So grab any object you had. I have this foam brush. I'm gonna set that in between my pumpkins, and then I'll attach my next pumpkin on using that foam brush as my spacer and I'll repeat that until I have all my pumpkins added. These are great to hang up on your fireplace. You can also put them on a door, they're super festive. In addition to all the kid and adult costumes that Walmart has, they also have pet costumes. So I bought the most adorable little costume for Moose. Let's see if he wants to put it on. Moosey, come here. I got you a costume. <laughs> oh, you're so adorable. Moose, look at you. 
Do you like your costume? If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment the word of the day, which is moose. I found these cute glitter spiders in the Halloween section at Walmart. They were super affordable, so I picked them up. I also grabbed some black poster board and frames. I emptied the contents of my frames and I removed the glass. I used that inner paper inside of the frames to trace on my black poster board. I have two eight by 10 frames and two four by six. Once I trace around the paper, I'm going to cut out my black poster board. Next, I'm gonna use some lace that I had on hand to create kind of a spider web look, and I'm going to place it onto my black poster board, kind of figuring out where I think it looks the best. Then I'm just going to hot glue it in place. I'll cut off the extra around the black poster board. Next, I'll put the poster board back into my frames, put the backing on. I'm gonna repeat this for all of my black poster boards. Now the fun part is deciding where I wanna put the glitter spiders. I may add one to a frame, some I may add two, just wherever I think looks cute. You can set these frames out as part of your Halloween decor. I love a quick hack for Halloween, and this is going to take you just a couple minutes to do. What you're gonna need is some black felt from Walmart, and you're gonna need an oval template. Then I'm going to cut out little oval circles. These are going to be our ghost eyeballs. Once you have your black felt, you can use any pillow that you have around your house. You're also going to need to pick up some Velcro that's removable. So I'm going to take two pieces of my Velcro. One of the pieces I'm going to stick to the back of my felt like that. I'm gonna get another piece of the Velcro and put that onto my oval. Now this is the sticky side. This is the side that I'm going to put on my pillow. Use any pillow and you're just going to put a little eyeball right there and then repeat that and create a second one. Now you have a little ghost pillow. Now this next DIY I think would be great to do with your kids. It's super fun and simple. I grabbed 10 inch embroidery hoops. I also grabbed some fabric from Walmart. I love their little fabric quarters. All of the fabric is already coordinating. I picked up the one that had the grays and whites. Now with this pack, I decided which three fabrics I wanted to use and I'm gonna place the fabric inside of my hoop, pull it really tight, and then I'm gonna cut off the excess on the back. I'll repeat this with all of my hoops. I found this stencil book that I thought was so great for creating different pumpkin designs. You can use this on regular pumpkins to carve them out, but I'm gonna use them a little bit different for this DIY project. So I picked out three different jack-o'-lantern faces that I loved, and I'm just going to cut out the black portion of the jack-o'-lanterns. Next, I'm going to use some painter's tape and add each of the faces to the front of my fabric. I'm gonna be using Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. One of my tips whenever you're painting with a stencil, you want to pull away from the edges. That's going to prevent the paint from seeping underneath your stencil. So I did that all the way around. I'm just pulling away from my template. Now, if you need to add any paint to the center, it's really easy to do and you don't have to worry about the edges. Then take off your template. If you have any areas that need a little bit of extra paint, you can do that as well. And I did this for all three of my embroidery hoops. 
These look super cute in a group of three. How adorable is this little ghost tray? It was super affordable. I love putting it out with candy to sit out around the holiday season. All right, you guys, it's your turn to vote. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite project was. I love knowing your opinion. Now, if you're interested in checking out any of the products that I showed in the video, I'll definitely link them for you down in the description box. Don't be afraid to try that project you've been wanting to try. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. I hope you subscribe because I want to see you back here. Bye.